What is going on guys, Mitchell Phillips here and we're going to be going over if the crew 2 is dead or dying. We're going to cover that now. Starting off the crew 2, almost everyone would agree currently is not in a good state. The game came out and it was not finished at all and that really annoys me because there once was a time where we didn't have access to live or online or whatever you want to call it. And when games come, came out, they just came out finished. It was very rare that a game came out filled with bugs and problems. Usually we just received a good finished product. And I feel like developers, especially Ubisoft, are really taking advantage of the fact that they can just put out updates after the fact and spend more time creating nice trailers and paying for advertisements to hype up a game that they plan on making good in the future. Uh, I really don't get it. It's kind of working backwards. Why not release a game that's complete, ready to go, and then you can do some little updates here and there and focus on the next game, focus on the next project instead of always playing catch up and always having a community that's just straight up not happy with what you're doing. Now, I actually didn't realize that it was Ubisoft as a whole because I usually stick to racing games. But once going through the reddits, I did discover that this tends to be a reoccurring theme with Ubisoft and their other games as well. Just having a boatload of issues, but staying committed to fixing those issues throughout the life of the game. And finally having a finished product maybe after a year or a year and a half. But is that going to kill the crew too? I mean, you, you can't just fix it eventually and still have a good game with a good community around it, can you? Right, and that, that's really the question that I wanna go over. And overall, if I'm gonna come out and say it, I feel like the crew too is still going to have a community as long as they stay true to the game and keep fixing it and keep improving it. The reason why is, is a few things. First of all, one thing we get from this I feel like most of us can agree we get a really good game that just isn't finished you can feel the potential in this game you see some of the areas where they really went all out with the photo mode and with the the audio of the cars and stuff of that nature there's there's a lot of really cool aspects about the game that I really love the the different disciplines I enjoyed way more than I thought I would before launch. I thought I would just stick to cars, but I actually really enjoy uh, the little speedboats, all the off-road stuff, of course, and uh, especially the dirt bikes, stuff like that I never really thought about getting into has proven to be really fun, but when you're playing a broken game with a ton of bugs, so many issues that I literally cannot go over them all in this video. There's no way. So many big issues that need to be fixed that I can't even cover in one video. You know, that's a big problem. Uh, so what, if you guys think the game's gonna die or if it's dead, let me know down in the comments. But because the developers are still coming out with updates, they are still uh, active letting us know what their plans are. And the fact that the game was so overhyped at launch. So many people purchased the game. And nowadays, when people buy a game, I don't know what the percentage is, but I would guess maybe 60% of people are buying the game online. Which means once they bought it, they have it. There's no selling it. There's no getting rid of it. So even if they don't like the game, people quit. Let's say half the community quits the game. 70% of the community quits the game. When they come out with a big update with new cards and a new discipline, if they include a lot of improvements to the game itself with that update, there's going to be a lot of people who come back to check out the update, and if they're happy with the changes, we might bring back some people into the community. Uh, so for those reasons, I think the game isn't dead. Um, it is dying, actually. I would go to say it is dying, but if they do, you know, if they do right on their next update, that could breathe some life into it. I just don't understand why they would want a game plan like this because they're really having to work their ass off after people have already bought the game. The DLC is free, there's no more money to be made, you know, they're just working their ass off to fix what's already broken when they should have took their time and made a good game at launch. So I don't understand the, the business um, strategy behind what they're doing. 
but maybe it was just you know spend money over hyping it release it before horizon 4 and maybe buy horizon 4 have a really good game that can stack up with it i'm not sure but i guess time will tell definitely if you guys have any information let me know in the comments and if you guys are enjoying and finding value in this feel free to subscribe but i want to go over some reddit posts with you guys because in the past week the most popular reddit post about the crew 2 said so what's up with the crew 2 and basically was saying have the developers abandoned it is the game dead the main question with this post is is the game dead i mean they didn't actually go out to say that but that's really what they were getting at and um I would say no, the developers are still active in the community, but people having these fears is a big problem. The fact that this is the most upvoted thing is a big worry. And moving on, there was actually a comment after this post that was upvoted more than the post itself, and it said, I was hyped for the beta, bought the game, and received a beta. So when they were playing the beta, they loved it, and when they bought the game, they were expecting a completed version, but they just received a beta, and I would agree, that is a great way to put it. I mean, the game just straight up wasn't finished. It feels like we are playing a beta, waiting for them to fix the game. And really, every comment I've gone through here, not a single one was positive, except from the developers themselves. And they did actually uh, comment in here. Like I said, they're active in the community, but they, uh, I think they just shot themselves in the foot off the launch of the game. They just said, hey, we're here and preparing for Gamescom. There won't be a stream from Ivory Tower this month due to Gamescom, Gamescom, but expect those streams to come back next month. The team is working through all the feedback we've received as soon as we can tell everyone more on the status of some of the requested features and fixes for the most common bugs we will let everyone know so they are working on this and they're staying you know on top of it but what's really crazy to me is man that's just that's just a stressful work environment like i would not want to be the developers at ubisoft working on the crew too or from what i hear the developers on ubisoft working on any game because they are just getting torn apart in the comments even people replying to their comments are just not happy with them, and rightfully so. I don't blame anyone, and I'm not happy with what they put out. I really don't like that this DLC, these online abilities, have given developers the ability to do what they're doing, which is put out a game that isn't finished at all, and continue to build it after they've taken everyone's money. But what I do at least appreciate is they're fixing this stuff, but it just seems like it's on purpose at this point. It doesn't feel like, oh, we fell behind schedule because we weren't expecting this. It feels like it's almost just a business model for them. And I, I don't, again, I don't understand the thought process behind it, but it is what it is. With that being said, guys, if you found value in the channel and are enjoying the content and can afford to, I would really appreciate it if you considered sponsoring if you guys don't know what the brand new sponsor feature is that just came to youtube a couple weeks ago basically you can sponsor my channel or any channel you really like for five dollars a month and that will get you a highlighted name so you stand out in the comments as well as a custom badge beside your name you'll have access to custom emojis i'll be giving you early access and exclusive posts that will be available for only people who are sponsors in the community tab so those can can be in the future exclusive videos or just posts letting you know what what i'm up to but if you guys can and would like to support i would appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to like comment subscribe take it easy remember your pain is your strength i'm out